I didn't, MLS didn't start till I was 30, so we had indoors, outdoors, indoors, outdoors, every alphabet soup uh, league you can imagine and played in probably 13, 14 cities if you want to count them all, be, uh, be exact. Uh, so there's a lot of, I mean, we won, I won an indoor national championship in Mexico that was great experience. You know, it started off real calm and it's kind of like, a, like indoors is here, you know, like a third division, but you know, once you're in competition on a national level, at the professional level, competition is competition. It's exciting that, that playoff run and Open Cup was good, but it was kind of a formality. I mean, I don't think there was any chance that anyone was going to beat us in the Open Cup that first year. Um, so obviously those are the highlights, uh, you know, winning the championships here, winning one in Mexico was actually really exciting. You know, just being part of MLS after being, a, you know, a glorified semi-pro player for a couple of years and then being an indoor, outdoor, indoor, outdoor, every six month professional player in the United States for, to come around, for MLS to come around in 96 and to be able to play for another seven years was a big deal for me. You know, it was great to finish your career in a league that's, you know, even now, growing leaps and bounds past what it was back then, but at that time it was great. You know, when you come out of high school and the NASL just folded in 84 and you're kind of like, well, I guess I'm going to college, so that's a good thing. We don't know what the pro leagues are going to look like. We didn't know if there'd ever be one, you know, and then to have stuck it out for that first seven and a half years and then to play for another seven years of MLS was, you know, made it all worth it. The two championships in DC, the MLS Cups were probably the highlight and the most exciting. You know, 96, I must have started like 27 games that season, but when I got there, Clint PA was a Virginia player that Bruce had known for a long time, and he had been the starting right back. I think he must have been injured when I first came in, because I came right in and started for a long time. And towards the very end in the playoffs, he was starting again. So I didn't play in the final. I played in the last game in the semifinal against Tampa, played 90 minutes in that game, but didn't play. But you know, I kind of backdoored into the DC United situation. I was originally drafted by the Galaxy, but I was injured playing indoors at the time. So I kind of fell out of the league because I didn't really attend the combine. So to be a part of it, to play a major role in the team and to be part of that uh, championship was awesome. But it wasn't quite the same because I was on the bench watching. So 97 was complete opposite, you know. Had a real good off season trained really hard, knew what the situation is and came in and you know played every minute of every game and all the playoff games and so MLS Cup final that in 97 first of all was at RFK so it was that was amazing we I think the most people they've ever had in there for an event with standing room up there I think they had about almost 59,000 people we were live on ABC TV which was pretty exciting and uh, it was just an exciting game. It was a tough, close game. I think we were the better team, but if you look at the at the game, you're like, wow, they had a lot of chances. Uh, they could have easily scored two or three goals as well and, and made, it, made it a different outcome. But it was just a, a dream season, you know, for me personally and for the team. Uh, you know, I think everyone thinks that that team plus one or two others got to be considered the best teams ever in the league and <clears throat> play such a big part of that whole playoff run was cool, you know. I had, as a right back, I had five assists in five games and got named best player in my position in the league, you know, after the season was over. So it was, it was a great year. You couldn't, couldn't ask for a better year. And uh, as far as an American soccer player, other than playing a World Cup, I think you have to be, you know, pretty much as good as it gets. Uh, going to Chicago to finish my career was a great move. We had, uh, the first year we had in my mind, by far the best team in the in the league, and got beat on a fluke in overtime in the semifinals by the Galaxy. Uh, uh, but it was a great way to finish my career. Real strong team: Peter Novak, Christo Stoichkov, Demarcus Beasley, Carlos Bocanegra. You know the list goes on and on. Chris Armas, a lot of great players, and it was an awesome way to end my career with a really good team that you just stepping on the field every day and training and practice was good. So, and Bob, Bob created that, you know, he put that team together and I was uh, real excited to finish my career in Chicago.